Welcome back to another episode of Junkie with Junior. Putting some miles in the truck here lately. Uh, you know, after we got all the paint work done, been driving this thing back and forth to work. It's running like a champ. But it's been doing one thing that drives me crazy, and it always has, and I finally figured out. So what I figured out and fixed on the truck, I undid it for an example for you guys today, and then we're going to go back and correct it and make the truck how I like it. So this is kind of a Holly EFI video today. Love their stuff. You know, that's what I've run on this truck since day one and the previous truck that I had. And uh, it's just really been pretty much a flawless setup. It works so well and daily driven. I mean, all the way to LS Fest, you can't ask for a better setup. But there's just one thing that drives me crazy. The idle air control or the IAC circuit, if you will, is really noisy and it kind of drives me crazy. And I've actually taken the throttle body off this truck twice and took a, a die grinder and a grit roll to the opening for where the air passes over the throttle blade. And I radius that edge because I thought that when the wind was coming across it, or the air, if you will, um, that it was creating a whistling sound. So I chamfered that edge. I rolled it back real nice. It's just slick as it could be, and it's still making the noise. So I thought, well, what? There's only one thing left that can make that noise. Where the uh, plunger on the end of the idle air control motor uh, goes in and out. It has a seat inside the throttle body. Well, I can't get to any of that. That's all CNC machine stuff down in a hole. So. I can't fix that. And if I did, if you interrupt that seat area, then the idle air control can't seal. So you're gonna have a leak when it's trying to close all the way if it needs to. So I, I wasn't gonna mess with that. So uh, just been driving the truck, trying to get this thing figured out. And it hit me the other day. When this truck makes that noise, if I can glance down at the idle air control hold position and see where it's at, then I'll know what range, you know, whether it be RPMs or just that percentage that I need to work with. So here's what we got. I'm just going to take off the truck nice and easy here. Of course, you hear the exhaust, but you hear a lot of that idle air control noise, and it just drives me out. And we're doing 15 mile an hour right now. So let's say you're stopped, and uh, you're just going through a parking lot, okay? People are standing around, so this is when your stuff's got to look tight and right, because people's looking at your stuff, and it's got to sound good, it's got to look good, and I'm, I'm weird about that kind of stuff. I don't want my stuff not being 100%. So we're using through the parking lot at the grocery store, for example. I'm gonna get on the gas a little bit to go around this corner. Five mile an hour, and the idle air control is just screaming out there. So other people have to hear that and look at this truck and say, man, what's wrong with that thing? That thing's, you know, got a whistle stuck in it, but definitely doesn't have a whistle stuck in it, but it's whistling. So what do we do to correct it? Well, let me show you on this screen here. I'm gonna flip the camera around and let you watch the monitor here hope you can see it so the idle air control percentage 17 22 40 percent so that 40 percent is going to be the set position that holly wants that idle air control to sit at so if it's making that much noise how can we compensate for that well even when i give it some throttle you can be all the way up to speed going down the interstate you're still sitting at 40 percent so I'm gonna pull over here, get us in a safe stopping spot. And I wanna show you exactly what I did. All right, throw this dude in park, grab my handy dandy Holly stylus here. So we're gonna go, and even right now, so we're sitting at 5% in gear uh, with our foot, not on the brake or anything, just sitting here idling. So that's nice because then if the IAC needs to close a little bit, you have 5% for it to do that. And that's kind of ideal from Holly. They want it to be 3 to 5%. So we're going to go to our home screen, tuning, advanced, advanced idle, IAC ramp down, or excuse me, um, IAC hold position, top of the screen here, 40%. So like I say, I've already played around with this. I know where we need to go. We're going to back it down to the... Uh, 24, 25, let's go with 25%. So that means it's gonna hold it at 25% when we're cruising. <clears throat> so let's back up here so we can get to a monitor and watch it while we're going down the road. Multi gauge, let me find it here. I always forget where the dang thing's at. Okay, monitor, multi gauge. No, it's not there. Regular monitors, idle. Okay, throttle position sensor, IAC position, 4% as we're sitting here. Okay, clicker in gear, 
idle air pulls out a little bit because it tries to bog down the engine some, so that idles it back up for us. We're gonna ease out onto this back road here. And now, we're gonna take off. You can definitely hear the exhaust still, but minimal noise from the IAC. Now, I don't think that you can ever get it so that it's perfect and silent. I just don't think that's possible. If you had, um, you know, some really trick tools or you just had your own CNC machine where you could uh, make your own throttle body, you know, with the idle air control seat like you need it, you could probably do some cool stuff. But for what we have with the Holley throttle body and the IAC, we just back that percentage down and it really smooths the truck out. So it's nice and quiet. Now, yeah, you can barely hear it a little bit, but that's far superior to what it was. <clears throat> now, the other thing that I noticed when I did this, because this has been an ongoing thing for a couple days here, and I don't just record everything. So, um, you know, as I'm trying to figure this out, and I, now that I have it figured out, I'm making a video on it for people to understand, because there's a lot of videos and misinformation out there on a lot of forums and stuff. And I don't know that I'm doing this correctly, but I know that it works for my application. So that's important to remember. Because on a lot of the forums and stuff, people are trying to change their fuel around and stuff. And uh, that just wasn't working on the startup. So that's another side effect of backing down this idle air hold position. Now it cold starts so much better. It doesn't have that uh, big dip after it burns off the initial crank fuel and then it tries to come back up and catch itself. That part is so much smoother. So a lot of people that are having that dip and fall and almost a stall whenever you crank your engine, you may not need more fuel. You may just need to adjust that idle air control hold position. It really worked on this truck. Another side effect that I didn't realize, and it took me a little while. So let's say you're cruising this truck along 55 mile an hour, you know, down a highway, or if you're on the interstate doing 70 mile an hour, and it's time to get out of the gas because you're approaching a, a exit ramp or a stop sign, whatever. So you roll out of the pedal. Okay, you don't need to hit the brake yet because you got a little ways to coast before you really need to start applying the brakes. That's how I drive, anyways. So I roll out of the throttle and this engine comes down to an idle so much smoother that I've, excuse me, caught myself looking at the tachometer because it feels like the engine shut off. It's so much smoother, I can't believe it. So I don't know why Holly uh, has that preset idle air control hold position at 40%. It doesn't make sense to me. It might work for a lot of people, I don't know, but it wasn't, and it worked for me, but it was just driving me crazy. So I'm really happy to have gotten that figured out and it just runs and drives so much smoother and the startup is better. I haven't quite wrapped my head around that part yet of how the startup can be so much smoother due to the idle air hold position. I think it might be because it's trying to hold it out so far that it's getting a big gulp of air and then whenever it tries to put more fuel to it to correct on the air fuel ratio, that then it's kind of overcompensating. It would hunt back and forth a little bit and all that's just really smoothed out. So I'm very happy with that um, adjustment. It's worked quite well and it, it's made the truck just so much more enjoyable to drive. So, uh, you know, Holly EFI people, whether it be Sniper, Terminator, Dominator, HP, all that good stuff, all the aiders that Holly have, if uh, if you think it's an issue, just try it. It's no big deal. It's just a touch of the stylus on the pad there, and you can you know go back and change it whatever you want. Some people have laptop tuning only. You don't need to do that. You just do it all on the handheld. If you've got it, it's quick, easy. You won't regret it. Try it. If it doesn't work, put it right back where it was. No big deal. So. That's gonna be all for today. Just a quick little tech Holly EFI video for you guys. Uh, like I said, that's what's going on with my truck. Uh, don't know that it's right or wrong for your application, but give it a shot. Hope this helps you out. Thanks again for watching Junkie with Junior. We will see you next time.